scoundrel who ever sailed the seven seas. And why he chose me that day, I'll never know. There was a fever in the air and a madness in his eye that told me there was something more than riches in there. Cabin Flint? Buried treasures? Why, that's just a pile of rubbish, that is. Believe what you will, sir. But nevertheless, there we were. This is my favorite part. Mine too, Jim. We had just crossed the river when from out of nowhere we could hear the sound of gunshots ringing in the air and the shots of his mutinous pirate crew closing in. Suddenly, Flint grabbed my arm and with a blood-curdling scream, he falls to the ground. Run, he says, run! And he shoves the map into my hand, and he dies right there in my arms. I think that's enough for you now, my old friend. I'll help you to your room. get you back to bed. But it's the black spot. The stories, Jim. All the stories. Yes? They're true. What? You mean you knew a real pirate? You mean there really was a Captain Flint? This is wonderful! It's fantastic! It's... It's disastrous. Don't you see? He's found me. But, Father, who's found you? I thought you said Flint died in your arms. How could he... Not Flint. Another pirate with a heart as black as night. Who would do anything to get hold of such a treasure? A one-legged pirate by the name of Long John Silver. You must take these and stop him. There's no telling what might happen if the treasure falls into the hands of such evil. The pirates, they're here. Hurry, Jim. You must go and find the treasure before Silver does, or all will be lost. I can't leave you. You're ill. Don't worry, my boy. I'll be all right. But what do I do? Where do I go? You must find Treasure Island. A land more wondrous than you can ever imagine. How do I get there? Believe in yourself. You will find Thank you. I have to get away from the pirates. 
They're after me. I have to hurry. Pirates? Ooh, it smells like trouble. <laughs> Listen, my lad. We'd better get you to a warm place before you catch your death of cold. What you need now is a hot cup of the captain's famous brew. So I grabbed the map, climbed out of the window, and ran as fast as I could. You've got your fair share of danger ahead of you, young Jim. Pirates are a mean lot. There's no telling what they'll do if you cross their path. But I promised my father. I've got to find the treasure. I've got to find a way. Well, as my great-great-grandfather Smollett used to say, a promise is a promise. And one thing is certain, my boy, you won't have to face those scoundrels alone. I may be an old sea dog, but I'm the best captain around. And this old ship still has one or two adventures left in her. Do you mean you'll help me? Die, Captain Smollett, offer the Hispaniola and my humble but honest service to you, my boy. But I have nothing to pay with. Oh. I tell you what, when you find that treasure of yours, you can buy me a new pair of boots. As for now, I'd be happy to have some company. Thank you, Captain. But we'll need a crew, and that costs money. Jim, I have an idea. I don't think the squire's a light sleeper. How can we wake him? Have no fear, Jim. All it takes is a little bit of common sense and a gentle touch. too careful these days. In fact, I always say... Squire, it's mighty cold out here. May we come in? Oh, by all means, come in. Please do come in. Oh, dear. It's been quite a storm. Quite a storm indeed. Captain, did I ever tell you about the time I was in Egypt and got caught in the most dreadful sandstorm you could imagine? Why, who, pray tell, are you? I, uh, <clears throat> um... This is my first mate, Jim. Pleased to meet you, sir. Indeed. <coughs> the first thing you must understand, young Jim, is that cleanliness is next to godliness. Rule number one, never climb through a window of an important man like myself without tidying up first. Do you understand? Squire, the boy has had a rough night. Still, there's no excuse. No excuse at all. Now, when I was a boy... Uh, Captain, did I ever tell you about the time when... We've come for your help. And what is it you want, my boy? My wisdom, perhaps? My sound advice? My vast experience and expertise? Well, actually, we need money, sir. Well, thank you for this pleasant visit, and um, do come again. But, Squire, this is an emergency. Yes, yes, well, it can wait till the morning. Or next month. Or next year, perhaps. Uh, good night. But we need your help, Squire. We must find the treasure before it falls into the hands of Long John Silver. Treasure, my boy? Did I hear you say treasure? Let's see. Powder, yes. China, yes. Silk stockings, yes. Treasure. Let's see. Powder, yes. China, yes. Silk stockings, yes. It's very nice of the squire to provide us with all these provisions. He's all right once you get to know him. And besides, he has been round the world and back. Oh, oh. There, 
that's it. Heave ho, man. Heave ho. Why, I do believe this hard work is actually beginning to grow on me. I'm surprised I never tried it before. That's it. Don't stop, men. Heave ho. Heave ho. What happened? The pirates. They came to the inn, looking for the map. They searched everywhere. Father? He's fine. But they're after you, Jim. I had to warn you. They'll be here any minute. You must leave this way, you bilge rats! Lower the gangplank, cast off the line, hoist the mainsail. Let's see. By the looks of it, I'd say everything we need is right here on the map. But what does it say, Doctor? To tell you the truth, I haven't got a clue. It seems that every detail of information, every step we must follow, is most cleverly concealed within a series of riddles and puzzling clues. But why would he do that? Seems clear to me that Mr. Flint took great precautions and never intended that the treasure be found by anyone other than himself. Gentlemen, you mean to say I must endure this agony and be hunted by a band of bloodthirsty pirates and all for nothing but a faulty map? Uh, oh, pardon me, but I, I think I need another breath of fresh air. Well, I suppose we'll just have to figure out the riddles. Far beyond the ocean, thy quest it has begun, for suddenly appears a land where moments past was none. How could that be? Why, either there is land, or there isn't land. Indeed. Quite curious. Read on, Jim. Through Poseidon's swirling eye, there lies a golden shore, and one step bravely into death, you'll find a life once more. What does it all mean? Your guess is as good as mine, boy. Well, I always say first things first. And if we don't decide which direction we're going, we'll end up right back in Bristol. We're just in time for dinner. The only problem is, with those pirates back there, we'd end up being dinner. Here. Only miles and miles of the open sea. Wait, I found it. <gasps> See, right there. I knew I'd be the one to find it. I always... How dare that spider pretend to be an island? Why, there's a law that clearly deals with imposters like that. Well, Jim, if you don't know where you're going, then let the gods decide. Sure, I miss the wife and kids. But it's a living, know what I mean? North. A fine choice, Jim. There's always a sweet smell of land coming in from the north. Well, if you want my opinion, it's as good a direction as any. East, west, north. Violet details get in the way. <coughs> well, I think it's an admirable direction. North, yes, quite noble indeed. It comes to think of it, I once knew an admiral North. Now, his grandfather went to university with my father's brother. No, was it my father's cousin? No, that's not right. Oh, gee, Captain. I'll get it. Seems that Mr. Silver's got us over a barrel, so to speak. I thought I smelled a rat. I didn't think 
I can take much more of this. I'm beginning to get a terrible headache. Excuse me, but I don't see how you can all be so calm. Why, what if we're left in this dank and dismal hole forever? What if the ship rats get hungry and decide to have a nibble? Excuse me, but I think... What if that pig-legged pirate decides to throw us overboard? What if... Excuse me, but I think I may have a way to get us out of here. What is it, dear? If we can just manage to tip the barrels over on their sides, I think the next wave will do the trick. I do. The boy is right. Give it all you've got, man. Good thinking, Jim. You'll make a fine captive one day. Oh, dear. My finest coat ruined. Hurry. We've got to get out of here before the pirates come back. There's no telling what they have in store for us. I'm going to get us some food and find that map. You see if you can get near the life plate. You're right, Jim. It's our only chance. Mmm. These will do. Of all the nerve, why should I have to do all the cooking? I hate cooking. Hmm. Let's see. Carrots. Thank you. You have ten seconds to tell me who you are and what you're doing in there before I... Please, please. My name's Jim Hawkins. And I... Where are they? Where are they? If I catch sight of them, they're mincemeat. Good girl. It was the only way. Thank you. You saved my life. Forget it. But aren't you worried he'll kill you too? Oh, he's been threatening to kill me for as long as I can remember. He never gets around to actually doing it, though. Long John kidnapped me when I was a little girl. My parents were rich, and he wanted the ransom money. You mean they couldn't pay? Wouldn't pay? Story goes, I was such a brat, they were glad to get rid of me. So, Long John was stuck with more than he bargained for. Wow. Hey, rumor has it you're looking for a treasure. Hmm. Maybe. Tell you what, I'll help you if you take me with you. Besides, I've already saved your life. It's a deal. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Just what I needed. Now it seems to me that we have a full house. <laughs> well, I guess this is the end. We could have had such an adventure. I should never have let you talk me into this. Why, I, I'd still be in my beautiful bed right now. <laughs> oh, stop crying. He's right. None of you would be in this mess if it were for me. <laughs> right you are, Jim. They wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So why don't you have the honor and be the first to go? <laughs> What is happening here? Hurry! Batten down the hatches! Tie the mainsail! Captain! Doctor! The Ripple 
in my hands. Honestly. I was just about to make them walk the plank. I was just about to just find them.